Choosing colors can be really hard even for designers, but your brand color scheme, especially the colors you use on your website, really important to get it right or you're gonna run the risk of looking like less of a real brand. And when you only get one chance to make that first impression, the pressure is on, but don't worry, I have a trick up my sleeve, a secret weapon that I always use to pick a really cohesive palette of brand colors that work together to look visually appealing and strike the right tone. And it's super easy and foolproof to use, no matter if you already have a color or two that you're already using or if you're open to starting completely from scratch. So stick with me through this video and I'm gonna show you how I do it using just a free website. And I'll also give you a few of my designer trade secrets so you'll not only know which colors to use, but how to use them the right way in your website to look super professional and reputable in the eyes of your customers. This is exactly what I teach in my paid program and it's the same method I've used to choose hundreds of beautiful color schemes for countless clients over the years. So I'm gonna be showing you three methods all using the same website. Method one is for choosing a full color palette based on any existing brand colors you might already have. For instance, if you already have a logo, you might wanna keep those colors and then just add a few more um, to that palette for use on your site. Method two is for if you just have a general color preference or a general idea of the style you'd like, but no official colors nailed down just yet. And method three is if you're starting completely from scratch. And before we start finding our colors, let's just go over some basics of what you should be looking for in your overall color scheme. So first, ideally, you wanna find about five colors. I'd say at least two of which should be somewhat neutral. So you can use them in addition to white as backgrounds. Um, you then want a few punchier colors that make more of an impact to be used here and there as accents. Then finally, we wanna choose a contrasting color that stands out from all the rest while still tying into the overall scheme. This is gonna be our call to action button color. Super important it stands out so that people know what they need to click on to start taking action with you, but it needs to also look good on the page, right? So now that we have our scavenger list, we're gonna be using a free website called coolers.co to find them all. Let's get started. Okay, so here we are on the website coolers.co. And again, I'm gonna take you through three ways of finding your perfect color palette. And there's so much thing, so many things you can do here to really find what you're looking for. But I'm gonna go through the three methods that I recommend, starting with, let's say you've got existing brand colors, like you've got a logo, or you've got specific colors that you know you need to incorporate in. Now it's just a matter of finding uh, the rest of the colors to really round things out. So if this is the case and you, let's just say you've got a logo, what you're going to wanna do is go up to more and then pick palette from photo. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And then all you're gonna do is click on browse an image and you're going to drag your uh, logo right into the stage here. Okay, so we've got our logo loaded up here. This will be for a fictitious chiropractor company. So from here, you just start picking the colors that you wanna incorporate into your logo. So I'm gonna choose this green one that I'm gonna choose. So it's basically got one, two, three, four, five colors up here. So I'm gonna click on the second one and I'm actually gonna keep that one as is cause that's gonna coincide with this color here in the middle. And then I'll go over to this one and I will choose this green color. So I've got three selected here and we've got two extras that we can uh, we need to add to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click right down here to, and I'm gonna click on open in the generator. Okay, so now we're in the generator. We've got these three colors and we've got two open spots here to choose between. So what we wanna do is we wanna lock these three down, right? Cause we don't want those to change. So we're just gonna go to each one and click on the toggle lock right there to really lock it in place. From there, all we need to do is hit the space bar and it's gonna generate new color schemes that can work with our existing colors. Now, ideally what we're looking for again is probably going to be one neutral color and then one contrasting color we can use for our call to action button. So let's just go through here quickly and see what we can find. Okay, now something like this I think looks really nice. 
because I think these colors work really well for the logo and for accents on the site. This is a nice neutral. We can use this along with white. And then this is a great call to action button because this all coordinates very well, but this definitely stands out against these green colors. But let's say we uh, wanted, we were happy with this one, but we wanted something a little lighter here. All we would need to do is just, this is basically kind of a whittling away process at getting rid of the bad colors and keeping the good ones, kind of like a, a gin rummy hand, if you will. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the lock here, and I'm just gonna keep hitting the space bar until it generates a color that I think is gonna work really well as a nice neutral for our palette. Okay, and here we go. I, I think this is great. I think this color, they call it apricot. I think it's gonna be a nice contrast with white, kind of uh, going back and forth between the sections for, nice, for having a nice and neutral color. So from here, all you'd wanna do is either, you can ex export this as a PDF or as an image, and it's gonna, um, it's gonna keep all these color codes for you to go back to later. Or if you've got an account set up, and it's a free thing to set up, by the way, I do recommend setting up an account so you can save different palettes. Um, and then just you would just click on save, and it'll save it for you. Okay, so now let's start with our method two, which is basically starting from just a basic color preference. So if you don't have an existing logo with colors you're married to, but you know, I like blue or I like yellow. In this case, let's pretend you're a catering company and you know you like orange and that's a good place you wanna start from. So what you would do is go up to explore and then from here, uh, well, first of all, I should mention, there's all these trending color palettes you can start looking at and tweak uh, the way we just did by locking some off and then you know just finding the winning colors from there. But I'm gonna show you um, a different way of doing this. So we're gonna go up to the search bar here, and from here we can choose any base color that we like. So again, I'm gonna choose orange for this one. So it's gonna give us all these color palettes that basically have uh, the colors, the color orange in them. So right off the bat, I kinda like this one because basically, if we're a catering company, I think this is great because it has that rainbow of colors of like fresh veg vegetables and stuff like that. So I think that would be a great place to start. So let's click on the dots and go to open in the generator. So right now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors which I think might be a bit much. So again, I recommend generally having about five colors. So um, I think the red is great. Um, I think this is nice too. So I might get rid of this. So I'm gonna lock these off, the red and the orange, and I'm gonna lock the yellow and the green off. From there, what I think I'm gonna be looking for is going to be a few more neutrals to kind of round this out. Um, and then we can always just kind of eliminate actually I'm going to remove one so now we're left with um, with six I'm gonna go ahead and remove another one as well so now what we're doing is we're just trying to find that fifth color that's gonna do the best job of being kind of neutral and I actually kind of like this one it's you know it's it's dark which is fine neutrals can be dark but it's pretty muted so I think that would work nicely along with white to uh, give us our, our bigger our bigger areas on the site and then the the other four can be used as accents and of course remember we do want to choose one to be our call to action color so what I would say is these three are warm colors, this is a neutral, and then this green kind of stands on its own, I'd say. So I would probably make this green be the call to action color, and the rest would be our pops of color and our neutral. So again, you just wanna go over to export as a PDF, and that way you have access to all your colors, including your hex codes. Okay, so now for the third method, and this is if you're open to possibilities, right? You don't have anything you're married to right now, you don't have any existing colors, you just wanna see, you know, we just wanna get your eyes on stuff and see what's gonna work the best. So what we wanna do is go up to explore, and again, you can either just go through the trending color palettes and see what you find. You, and actually these are um, curated in several different ways from trending to latest to popular. So go ahead and take a look around, but what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, let's assume we're, we're a design company, like maybe an interior designer, and 
you know, you just want to see the possibilities. So what I actually recommend, believe it or not, this is going to sound boring, but trust me, I'm actually going to choose gray to get us started. And there's a reason for that. Gray is going to give us those neutrals that we need along with some pops of color here and there. So the neutrals are very important. It's what gives the website some breathing room so it doesn't feel like a color circus. So I'm just gonna scroll down and see what my eye is naturally drawn to, remembering what we're looking for. We're looking for the neutrals, a few pops of color, and a contrasting call to action color. So I'm just gonna see what I can find. Okay, and I'm actually drawn to this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the three dots here and then open in the generator. So I think for a designer site, this actually could work really well as long as it goes along with your uh, aesthetic. So, and this does give us, um, the one thing I'll probably change here, because first of all, I think these colors work great together as accents. And I think this is an awesome contrast to this. I think it still looks really nice and sophisticated with it, but it definitely stands out, right? So the only thing I'm not super happy with is because we can always use white or black as neutrals, right? We don't need them to tell us that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to find some other neutrals that we can use along with it here and there. So lock these ones off that we like, and then we're just gonna keep hitting the space bar till we find some more good neutrals. Okay, now I found a few that I think are actually pretty good. This one I really like because it's it's almost white, but it's not quite. If you can see, this is white up here. So this is kind of a really light um, ice blue almost. So I'm gonna lock that off. And then this one I think actually works pretty well too, but it might be a little bit too much against the purple. So I'm just gonna keep going. Okay, here we go, I like this one. It's called Artichoke. So I think these three colors work really nicely together. Then we've got a neutral that we can use along with white. And then we've got a nice contrasting color over here. So again, just go up to export, get your PDF, and you should be good to go. Pretty easy, right? And I hope you can see, even if you don't really respond to the colors I've picked, because um, I was just doing it for very specific examples, I hope you can start to see how you can use that website to find anything that does appeal to you. Okay, so now for my cardinal rules for color, or at least my overall suggestions for how to best use this new color scheme on your website. And I should preface this by saying that these rules can be broken when done correctly, but here's the catch. If you're not a designer, I would rather you just be safe and play by the rules here. That way, you really can't go wrong. Okay, so rule one, avoid in-your-face color blocking and using your bolder colors in large areas such as backgrounds. This can look really chaotic, I've seen it a million times, um, or it can just look too heavy if you don't really know what you're doing. So the much less risky move here would be to use white and your neutrals as backgrounds instead. You'd then use your bolder colors in smaller doses, like for icons, divider lines, and headlines. And speaking of headlines, rule two, feel free to use your colors in headlines if you want, but don't use your colors for body copy. It can just look really amateur if you do it that way, so what I'd recommend is just stick to either black or a really nice dark gray for your text. And rule three, remember our designated call to action color? Well, you're gonna use that as the color for your main desired action button and nowhere else on the entire site. This helps it stand apart from all other page elements, really cementing it as the most important single element on the page. Because at the end of the day, people clicking this button is how they start in the path toward becoming a customer, and that's the entire goal of your website in the first place. Now, getting your colors right is really just the beginning of how to get your website dialed in just right for automatic client generation. So if you wanna know the rest of the story, you better believe I've got you covered with my most in-depth training yet. So click up here to sign up for my free training, how to create and launch your own profitable client generating website. It's gonna show you everything you need 
and what you should definitely leave out to be as persuasive as you can be and turn your website into your best salesperson 24 hours a day. So click right here, sign up, and I'm gonna send you the on-demand video right away.